more and more young people are being treated with antidepressants such as SSRIs. In this project, we considered what we currently know about the effects of antidepressants in young people. We screened over 2,000 scientific papers and spoke to young people who'd experienced depression and anxiety themselves. Our first question was, do SSRIs work in young people? Clinical trials show that SSRIs can help treat depression and anxiety in young people, though they aren't a solution for everyone. For example, one of the largest trials in depression found that 61% of teenagers improved with 12 weeks of antidepressant treatment, compared to 35% on placebo and 43% with psychological treatment. Antidepressants may work best when combined with psychological therapy, but not many studies have explored the most effective way to do this. We need to understand better who is most likely to benefit from antidepressants and which symptoms are not well treated by them. Our second question was how do SSRIs work in young people? SSRIs work by increasing levels of a brain chemical called serotonin. Increased serotonin doesn't immediately make us feel happier, but it may change how we deal with things around us. When young people are depressed or anxious, they can be more sensitive to negative things. This can lead to further feelings of depression and anxiety, which can become a vicious cycle. Evidence so far suggests that antidepressants change activity in brain circuits related to the way emotional information is processed, which allows young people to better deal with stress and negative things around them. The young people we spoke to told us about how antidepressants had helped them. It helps a lot with mood swings, it gives you the kind of space and time to reflect. Often it's referred to that you're going to be a zombie, which I don't think is true at all. They're just so much better for my life. I can actually do stuff, which is very nice. Our third question was what are the disadvantages of SSRIs in young people? Like other medicines, SSRIs can have side effects like headaches and nausea. Some young people worry about the long-term effects of antidepressants and how and when to stop taking them, and more research is needed in both of these areas. There are still a lot of things we don't know about antidepressants in young people. That gap in our understanding makes some people think we should limit their use, but this needs to be balanced against the risk of not properly treating severe depression and anxiety in this age group. More research is needed so that young people can make informed choices about the advantages and disadvantages of taking antidepressants and so we can better understand how to develop new treatments in the future.